Hey everyone, it's great to have you back. In the previous videos, we explored the options to create scenario-based courses and scenario assessments using ChatGPT. Today, we will explore how we can take this further and create a complete storyboard using ChatGPT. So let's roll up our sleeves and get started. All right, so the first thing we need to do is to create a comprehensive prompt for ChatGPT. Creating a perfect prompt is key to getting a desired output. So let's break down the prompt that I had created to see how to tackle it. And don't worry, I'll paste the prompt in the description field so that you can copy it and make it your own for your own storyboards. Let's begin. In this prompt, first I asked ChatGPT to act like an e-learning instructional designer. Then I specified the duration of the course. And I clearly defined the target audience, which is IT professionals who are new to project management. This helps ChatGPT understand the level of complexity and language that should be used in the course content. Next, I mentioned the main objective of the course, which is to upskill IT professionals to manage projects using agile methodology. This detail will ensure that the generated content stays relevant and specific to the topic. In addition, I also specified the format and structure I wanted. The most important thing I did here was to ask ChatGPT to provide the response in a table format with fields like slide number, slide title, on-screen text, media, animation, transcript, and the developer instructions based on the details I generally include in my storyboards. This gives ChatGPT a clear idea of how I like my storyboards organized. And you can see that I didn't stop here. I also outlined the interactive elements that should be incorporated into the course. I mentioned drag and drop interactions for understanding key concepts, click to reveal interactions for exploring agile stages, scenario-based learning, a five-question quiz, and a simulation of the project management tool. These details provide the AI with the guidance it needs to create a truly engaging and interactive e-learning experience. Finally, I emphasized on the importance of multimedia elements, accessibility and user friendliness in the course design, making sure that the final storyboard would cater to the needs of IT professionals who are new to project management. As you can see that a comprehensive prompt is crucial for ChatGPT. So take your time and effort to give all the information that is required by ChatGPT to help you the best. Now let's see what ChatGPT has generated for us. So here's the prompt and you can see that it has given us a table with slide numbers, slide title, on-screen text, media animation, transcript and developer instructions just the way I asked it to do. Then it has decided to have a course introduction. You can see the title here. It has also given us the on-screen text here. There is transcript and the instructions for the developer on how to create it. The second is the learning objective screen. Then there is key concepts and terminology where a drag and drop interaction has been used. And then we have a process infographic and exploring agile stages for which ChatGPT has decided to create a click to reveal interaction and then a scenario followed by a simulation and then knowledge check and the course summary. And then later it has given some next steps. So here you can see that it stopped here. So I just gave a continue prompt and it completed the next steps where resources lists are provided to the learners. And here you can see that uh, ChatGPT has given this disclaimer that this is just a starting point and then you will need to expand on this course structure to create your storyboard. Now I carefully uh, analyzed what it has created and then one by one I started asking it to make changes starting with course introduction. So here's what I asked ChatGPT to do. I said can you change slide one content to an interesting and punchy story so that learners are motivated to continue learning. So here you can see in my prompt I'm mentioning the slide number so that it doesn't generate the entire storyboard 
every time I ask it to make a change. So here it mentions the slide number and here you can see it has added a scenario where you meet Jane who is an IT professional who is struggling to manage projects efficiently and so on. So it gives you a clear picture as a learner as to what the course uh, contains. And then I went on to slide three where I said can you expand the slide three content. It was a drag and drop interaction but it did not mention any draggables or any drop targets. So here here you can see uh, the next time I asked it added 10 draggables. So again draggables were there but there was no drop target. So I said can you share one line definitions for these 10 terms. So it gave me definitions and I thought this was too long. Uh, what I want is shorter ones and also just five of them because having so many elements in the drag and drop interaction can be a little overwhelming for the learner. So I said, can you pick five important terms here that can be included in the storyboard and shorten the description for these five terms. So it gave me five terms here. It reworded all the uh, developer instructions accordingly. And then it gave me shortened descriptions for all these five terms. And this makes my life simpler because now I can take this and convert this easily into a drag and drop interaction. So don't feel shy asking ChatGPT to help you or refine what it has provided you. It will easily follow your instructions and give you exactly what you want. So let's move forward. And then I said, can you help me with the content related to stages of agile process that can be included in slide 5. So again it showed me the content related to slide 5 which is a click to reveal interaction. So first it pasted this slide and added those instructions in the developer instruction section and then it gave me all these stages and this can be added into a click to reveal interaction. Now here you can decide whether you want an accordion, you want a tab or you want to reveal this information in a pop-up or any other format that you like. Then uh, I went on to slide six uh, because I liked what it had given me for slide five. Then I said build out the scenario for slide six because it said it is a scenario based learning but it did not include the scenario. So here it gives you a scenario outline. Feel free to use the prompts that I shared in the scenario based learning video and it will allow you to have the perfect scenario that you need for your course. So the scenario structure is available and all you need to do is give some more prompts to ChatGPT to make it a perfect scenario for you. Then I said expand the simulation steps for slide 7 taking Jira as a tool. So it had provided two options. I picked one and I said okay for 7 I need a simulation for Jira. It gave me the simulation outline. Again if this is sufficient for you to come up with the steps go ahead and use it or prompt ChatGPT further to do it. And then I said expand slide eight with five questions as it was mentioned earlier. So here it gave me the slide and then it gave me all the questions that are here. So here again, you can ask more questions. You can go and check out the conclusion slide, the resources list and everything else that is there in the storyboard. And you can ask ChatGPT to help you fine tune it and add your content. Now in this example, I did not provide any content to ChatGPT. Whatever is generated is generated by ChatGPT. But if you have to follow a certain uh, content piece that you have already available, you can add the prompt and then at the end of the prompt, you can tell ChatGPT that I'm pasting the content related to this particular topic and you need to follow that topic to create the storyboard. And ChatGPT will do exactly that for you. So there you have it. This was a step-by-step -step procedure to create a storyboard and fine-tune it using ChatGPT. Thanks for watching this video. If you enjoyed this behind the scenes of creating an e-learning storyboard with ChatGPT, let me know your thoughts in the comments below. And stay tuned for more exciting videos on how AI can be used in e-learning. See you in the next video.